everyone. Welcome to your spiritual liaison where the truth will be told. Get your affirmations and your manifestations on through meditation. Love yourself first. Please live your absolute best life. And do what? Make sure that you get an amazing life on every single day. Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Hello, my beautiful cross watchers. Go ahead and hit that like, share, and subscribe button to show my channel some love. These are general readings. As the intro said, these aren't personal. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what your energy is today, Pisces. And thank you to everyone who sent me an email along with a beautiful picture is confirming that you received your gift. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the reading. Um, let me show these cards better. Take whatever falls out. Whatever falls out. Sun. So, sun can be significant um, to, this could be your actual sun, or this could just be significant to, um, Queen of Wands. This could be significant too. Like some, you know, like the sun speaks of like success, power, um, page of swords. Pisces, at Pisces, it looks like somebody is a little in some energy is watching you succeed or they're watching what you have invested into. Now, this is an investment into your son. That's something somebody's watching or paying attention to some sort of hard work. You could have you could have made some sort of investment due to hard work or your hard work is paying off. This could be pertaining to your son or just the fact like that sun card speaks of success and, you know, something like that. Um, something that was hidden from you. The I get that the blindfolds are about to come off or you're about to see something clearly. You're about to see something um, that you were confused about or something you weren't seeing. Clear. It's about to be made clear to you. You have the Ten of Pentacles here. Um You've invested into something that is that has brought clarity to your life or made things easier for you in some way. With this Ten of Pentacles, it is bringing you also stability and paying off. It looks like there may be a fire or a air sign watching this. Um, with this Queen of Pentacles, this Queen of Cups, you have three queens out here. It looks like you do have a number of energies, powerful energies too, sort of watching you. Somebody who is, they see things clearly about you. Somebody who's also very passionate, fast moving, um, is also watching you. They're watching you be generous or something that you've put a lot of you've given a lot to you've invested a lot into some they're watch somebody is watching you win um you have the page of swords here you have the five of pentacles and you have the eight of wands you could be getting some sort of um communication or like congratulations that's what i feel like i don't feel like it's a negative thing even though i see this five of pentacles here you could be getting some sort of communication or, or congratulations about pulling yourself out of a situation or something that you invested into you may be getting some communication from a financial advisor or somebody an account somebody who you've invested or something if, if this is not that kind of it's like you've invested into something that is paying off and you got people watching this you do have people watching you win in some way the, it looks like you're going they've been watching you for a while discussing your investment or discussing your level of work or your commitment to something they could feel like you're a workaholic but this has been watched and discussed whether you've known it or not with this page of swords here, 
people were talking about how you were financially struggling or how bad, how you were doing financially or how you were left out in the cold. You could have been felt ostracized or just sort of like the universe didn't have your back or something. Or maybe you felt like your community or your family, somebody. It's kind of like I just get the energy for a while you felt sort of like you didn't have what you want. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Cups here. You also have the Eight of Wands. That's why I'm saying I get the energy. That's Remember, before I even looked at the bottom, I just said, I don't get that this is negative energy. I get that this is something. Somebody has watched you pull yourself out of a place of this into this. This Ten of Cups. It's like somebody has watched you. And this has been a discussion, whether you know it or not. Also, you have the hermit card. So they could have, you could have done something in privacy or behind the scenes. You have the nine of cups. You have the ten of cups, the nine of cups. A lot of emotion here too. A lot of emotional happiness. Seeing wishes come true. It does look like somebody was sort of discussing what you were doing in private. Or how you pulled yourself out of a situation. There's a lot of energy with this, Pisces. I don't know who who is watching you. This could have, like I said, this could have been an air. It looks like there was a number of people. I said a fire sign and a air sign, but this could I see all the elements. You have somebody's attention, you have a group of people attention, or you have like a group of people are watching you, or it's just like, and they're all connected, or either this is just individuals who are watching you. They Somebody has been discussing your level of... I'm sorry, Pisces. Hold on, I do. Okay, my beautiful Pisces, I am back. Just needed to take care of something and let the contractor in, okay? All right, so it does look like you're in some sort of energy, Pisces, right now where you were... You are being watched by somebody. This, this feels more like present energy. It doesn't feel like past or anything. So either somebody is watching you win some sort of like something you've invested into has bought you a good return. Um, it does look like somebody did watch you come out of poverty or uh, being ostracized or you're getting some communication about how people view you or what they think of you or something. I get it's something positive too, because it's like you were in hermit mode accomplishing something you did something behind the scenes that no one knew about or you pulled yourself out of a situation behind the scenes yeah because then you had the will of fortune on the bottom pisces you're moving forward in a really good direction really good direction something you did without some sort of investment that you made is definitely paying off this could be pertaining to your son or just the Sun could be um, symbolic of the sun and the sun card speaks of like success, um, prosperity, really positive things like that, um, accomplishments. You have the king of pentacles here. I told you, Pisces, something that somebody has watched you create stability in your life. The knight of cups. Um, I told you it's numerous people that have watched you. Uh, they've watched you invest into something or they've watched your investments pay off. I get that you're in some sort of like, they've also watched you be very generous to giving. Something that you did is a good, something you made was a good investment. And you're going to, I'd say you're going to get positive feedback about this. Remember I said, I don't get that the energy is negative. It's almost like somebody saw you create emotional fulfillment in silence or behind the scenes by yourself. They're able to see, it's like they see you winning at something with this will of fortune or moving forward fast, almost like you, you went through a healing you went through a healing of the heart. You went through the healing of your emotions, something. But I get that you're getting some sort of positive confirmation or communication about an investment. Two of Pentacles. Your workload could increase in some way. Um... <clears throat> <laughs> looks like you've already been working hard towards something, but it does look like your workload is going to increase. Pisces, you have the Knight of Swords and you have the Ace of Swords. So I'm going to tell you, like, I actually, I actually love this reading because with the Knight of Swords, 
you are willing to fight for something that you really worked hard for. You've gotten clarity about your level of stability and what you need to do to accomplish something. And you're going after it strategically, very smart, lack of emotions because you're thinking logically in something. This is bringing you about this Ten of Pentacles. You do have... Um, Something, I get that you are going to take on more responsibility or something that's going to increase your workload. Something about your finance. You could be collaborating with someone too. You may be collaborating with up to two more people. This could be an air sign and a fire sign or an uh, um, earth sign or something. So it looks like you may be collaborating with someone Somebody look at you like some investment you made, Pisces, or something you did without help, or you did it alone with this hermit card, or you, you went through some sort of emotional fulfillment or heal, healing of the heart alone. It does look like you're getting clear communication. Like you're, you have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords. You have the Eight of Wands, Pisces. So somebody has watched you. They were talking about you getting the truth or getting new love or making an offer is something about they love the way what you invested into they feel like you're smart too pisces somebody is looking at you as a good investment because they do look at you as like something you invested into made others look at you they they it got the, it got people to talk it's they're talking about something you did, how you overcame something or how you made something work out in your favor. Um, they could be contacting you, telling you they want to collaborate with you in some way. This could increase your, um, your workload or this could just increase your level of responsibilities. You're getting true, you're getting honest, true communication too. As some sort of honest offer. An offer is going to be made to you. It's a good offer too. It's it's almost like it's too good to be true with this Ace of Swords and this Ace of Cups. You're gonna you may be thinking that it's too good to be true. Um If this is the healing with the, yeah, so <laughs> Pisces, whatever you were going um, through, somebody has watched you heal your heart. They're, they could even be in awe of how well you did this or how well something is working out for you. You have the devil card and the ten of pentacles. I just get that energy where you may be, because that's that Capricorn energy. You may be more... Um, um, restrictive or selective about how you invest something that you did worked out well Pisces for you some of my people have been watching this so it's like you could feel like okay I saw something that I did pay off or work out well for me it was like a lesson you learned, a good lesson you learned or something about how you invest into something or who you're investing into it taught you to be more strategic or hold on to something or um, control something a little better. Something that could have been out of control. This could have been your emotions or your finances. It taught you something that you invested in into, taught you to get yourself a little more structured. And I get that you did this in silence behind the clo behind closed doors in some way. Um, you've overcome something or worked through something, it's giving you a really good news. So you have the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. Like, so Pisces is really giving you a new star. You do, somebody has been discussing how well you are doing or how good you are at something, at investing into something. And now, Pisces, somebody is coming to you. They want to have a communication about how they feel. They, You could re be receiving some accolades for something you did um, or just hearing like the thumbs up that you did a good job. This could be a celebration that's giving you a new start you're going to be really happy about. You could be collaborating with someone or somebody could want to collaborate with you. Because they see that you're a good investment because you may, you, like you have a good judge of character or you make 
you make good choices or something. Um, there's a lot of discussion going on about your income. There's a lot of now this could be negotiations. You could be nego negotiating with someone, someone pertaining to um, an investment, how much you should invest into something or how much you should receive. But I get that your responsibilities are about to increase in, in a good way, though. This isn't a negative thing at all. This is your responsibilities are going to increase because your finances are about to increase. Some sort of truth offer, something you are working, something you've done in silence or behind the scenes, um, working hard behind the scenes. And it, it, I see a celebration. You have the ten of, um, ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups here with the Wheel of Fortune. I do see you moving forward in a good direction because of emotional fulfillment. So again, somebody is happy. They're singing your praises, Pisces. I don't know whether you are aware of this or something, but someone is singing your praises because they've been watching how hard you work towards something or they've watched your level of commitment or loyalty or the way you were able to heal from something on your own. You did something by yourself and you're getting like positive feedback on this. You've accomplished a goal on your own. You're getting a lot of positive feedback about this too. It's going to even help you structure something else out in your life too. I also see the healing of your heart. So I'm not sure what you were going through, whether it was like a relationship issue or this something you were trying to accomplish or you were putting an investment. You could have just been worried about it. You know, is it going to turn out well for you or something does look like it, it? You're very happy about it turning out well. And people have watched this all happen. It's like almost like Pisces. I almost get. It's not on a level, a miracle type level. It's just the, the work you put into something, your commitment. The three of pentacles, I said, the work you put into something, your commitment. Three of cups, a lot of celebration coming for you, Pisces. A lot of celebration. Two of wands, you had two options on the table too. Either one is going to be a good option for you. It looks like you're going to be offered two different things. You're going to look at this very clearly before you make a decision for this new start too. Look like some offers are being made to you. may decide to go with both though. That's what I'm kind of, I kind of see you might make a choice to go with both options. You may figure out a way to where you could have it all. Like you could have both. So if this is job related, you may accept two jobs and work one in the daytime, one overnight, one in the daytime, one in the evening or something. Or you may decide to collaborate with two different people or start two different businesses. Something you're going to do, I get that you, you're looking at it like it's a win-win for you. So it, it looks like you're going to some choice you're going. It looks like you're going to invest into two things, two people, like you're going to collaborate with two people or you're going to have two offers on the table. and You're going to decide to choose both. This is going to bring you a Pisces. Something you did was miraculous. You did something. I looks like hey, somebody. No one can take credit for your hard work. You put you put this work in yourself. You put in this hard work to, to make things transform in a, in a certain way yourself. You, you've done this. You've put in this hard work. Um, so, yeah, I like that. Mm. I like it, Pisces. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Cool. You're getting a lot. I don't know whether you are aware of somebody singing your praises behind your back, but they really are Pisces. Somebody's really happy about seeing you come out of a place of sort of being in that reclusive state or not having the control over your finances or making bad decisions in the past. It's like you have done a complete 360 of your life or your mind frame or your investments or something and it has paid off it's opening doors for you you're going to get some communication about how well you're doing or like confirmation or something some sort of celebration with this three of cups 
due to your hard work. Um, Three of Pentacles. I get you're going to be a lot more structured with your finances with this Devil card and the Ten of Pentacles. You're going to be a lot more structured. You could be getting some sort of windfall where you're looking to see a big return on your investment. This windfall could be... Um, $8,000, $80,000, You could be, it could be $80 too. But something that you're investing into is going to pay off and you're going to be happy about this. Um, See, so you're going to be happy about this and happiness came out. Then you have commitment. I said you were committed to something. It came out right under the eight of pentacles. You were committed to something. Confidence. Yeah, somebody has the confidence that you could pull something off or that you're good at something. And look at the card that fell out on the bottom, life purpose. Something that you have done, you found your life purpose, but you found it in silence or you found it in, in being in that reclusive state or searching for spiritual guidance or something has brought you a lot of emotional fulfillment where it's bringing you that Pisces. But your commitment to something, something you have not given up on or an investment that you made because you were committed to it, it paid off or is paying off big time. Big time. I see a lot of happiness here. This is a confidence booster for you too because it looks like it's opening doors. You may get two offers um, and accept both of them. You may decide to accept both offers or or either collaborate with two people. Like I said before, if this is a job, you could be getting two job offers and decide to take both. Like you may decide to work a job in the daytime and work one in the evening or something. You know, Pisces, if you got two offers with two relationships, I hope you're not about to <laughs> take both offers. I hope you're not about to take both offers in a relationship, Pisces. I say in a relationship reconciliation. Uh-huh. So, Pisces, I look... I. <laughs> It says, I, I just said, you may be deciding in a relationship to entertain two energies. It looks like I said your responsibility is going to increase too. And the reason I'm saying that is because reconciliation, but it's like with three of pentacles. So that's what I'm saying. You may be working with two other people, collaborating with two other people, or you're just accepting two other relationships or you're accepting two other jobs. This is something that's going to bring you a lot of happiness though. I do you're going I do get the, you're going to pull on in the reins of your spending or you're going to get your spending under control or more structured or something. You're going to be committed to saving and investing. This you're going to have a really good turnaround on something too. So I don't know what you're investing into. You have love here and you have passion. Yeah, so Pisces, you do have some people watching you in, in, with really good loving eyes too. This isn't negative at all. I don't get negative energy from this. I said psychic abilities. So somebody could even be contacting you saying they desire to know something. Um, if you have psychic abilities, Pisces, and that is a real thing, you know, you've had people that try to label that as schizophrenic or um, bipolar. It's unfortunate, but this is something that predates um, medical terminology. But I get that you are really in some sort of um, information. I mean, you're really in some sort of energy. So Pisces, somebody could be contacting you about your psychic ability, something that you do saying they're willing to pay for you to travel to them or they're willing to travel to you. This could be an air sign, a water sign. I see air heavy. This could also be a fire sign. Um, there is a, hold on, where, I'm, this just came, oh my gosh, okay. There's an Oracle deck that I gave away as a gift and they have a card in here. I'm going to show you what this card looks like because this is what just popped into my mind. Right here, throne. Look, look at this. We have a fire sign here. This is air here and you have a water sign here, a Pisces. 
I'm telling you, it really does look like you're going to collaborate with somebody or you're going to choose two jobs or either be in two relationships. Does look like somebody may be requesting your abilities or your, I mean, I'm sorry, they're requesting your services. They may be willing to pay for you and your family to fly to them or they're willing to pay for something for you. Or they feel like your insight is a good investment. Something that you can see or your judge of character or your, your predictions or something. You could be a tarot reader. You may be getting a call or some sort of contact from somebody who wants to work with you because they feel like your your psychic abilities are needed or they're required or some this could be somebody who's willing to pay for you to come to them or they're willing to come to you something about improvement of your family life as well um so if you're getting two jobs two job offers Somebody could just feel like you're very insightful, like they they are willing to pay for your skills or your abilities to do something. This is going to improve your family life. You're going to see what your life purpose is too. Um, hmm. Nice, Pisces. Nice. Okay. I also get your love life is going to improve now. Or either all, more offers are about to start coming in about your love life. You could be getting more suitors or people paying you more attention. Now, let me see, because I don't see whether you're going. I said your, your love life, you got the King of Cups right here. That's your energy, Pisces. You have the Knight of Wands and you have the Empress. I just said it's like somebody is, your love life could be improving. So if you were always, Pisces, something is about to change about your love. If you were always the one who had to pursue someone or pursue people in a relationship, that energy is about to change, is about to, like, tables are about to turn in some way. It's like you're about to be pursued a lot by, this could be by numerous suitors. Somebody look at you as an empress, like somebody who they want to cater to or take care of, like you're very nurturing. With this King of Cups, they do want, this could be another Pisces or a fire sign with this Knight of Wands. Somebody do want to offer you something. They want some sort of reconciliation or they want to just connect with you. Um, they could see you as very happy right now or you were able to create happiness in your own life by doing something alone or working on something alone. You put a lot of passion behind and they are looking at you with um, really loving eyes or they could just be looking at you like with this queen of cups and this love card. They could just be looking at you. They want to unite with you because they, they look at you as having a good heart or like a motherly figure or something. Um, like you know how to turn lemons into lemonade. So something about that, Pisces. Something about you turning lemons in your life into lemonade. Like you made some sort of investment. In it after being, But you did it in private though. And, and this has this has really put you in a different light in a lot of people's eyes, whether you know it or not. I see a lot of positivity. This could be pertaining to a Capricorn, another Pisces, or a Gemini. Um, I guess you're going to be more selective and more controlling about how you what you invest into with this Four of Pentacles. You're going to be more structured. You're going to think harder about what you're investing into. You're happy that you did invest into something, though, because it does look like it's your your it's paying off. With this eight of cups, I get that the fact that you went through seeking emotional healing in a passionate way with this Knight of Wands, it's like you went through seeking emotional healing after being down and out or feeling defeated or ostracized financially, business-wise. Sorry about that, Pisces. But after being ostracized or something happened where you were in some sort of energy where you felt defeated or thrown to the side or unappreciated, like you wasn't appreciated or something in a 
like that's how you felt or something so you went to to invest into something else and it paid off um now you're paying attention to what you manifest or how you invest or something and it has even gotten oh some people are looking at you in a beautiful way pisces you could be getting some sort of offer like two job offers or just somebody who wants to pay for your ability somebody who want to collaborate with you look at this ten of swords this could be a gemini everything is fine Yep, yeah, so this could be a Gemini helping you get a new start or something, like come out of a place at like almost out of a tower moment. Um, or just a place where you sort of felt defeated at one time. Sort of in your head a lot, thinking a lot. Somebody could definitely be helping you with the passion, I like go after something passionately or they're coming after you because they see that you have a lot of passion behind what you believe or what you invest into. Nine of wands, Pisces, your, your responsibilities are going to increase. Um, your responsibilities are going to increase, but I do get that something about, so you've invested into something that worked out well for you. This is also a healing of the heart is taking place. You could, it's like somebody is opening up their heart to you or they're opening up options to you or their mind or something. But Pisces, it's like even though you're exhausted, you could have made up to six, seven different investments into something and had them all fail, and then but you didn't give up. So it's like something that you invested in finally paid off. This is helping you be structured in other areas. It does look like you are getting some numerous offers or just numerous people communicating about how well you pulled yourself out of something so now they're looking at you as a good investment they're looking at you you have the world card and the empress card you are definitely a good investment in their eyes they feel like you know what you're doing that you know how to run something this could be even like they feel like like i said they could be asking you would you take on a ceo position or um be in charge of something, something that's going to put you in this with this world and Empress card. They could also feel like you get over, you, like you you know how to diffuse conflict or you get over battles good or something. Somebody is looking at you as very strong. Right? Not only you have the you have the uh, where was that? Because I know I saw that that Leo card, that strength card come out somewhere. But it does look like somebody is looking at you as being strong. Um, they all, I said they look at you as a good investment. So this is why they want to partner with you. The lover's card, yeah. And then you have the five of wands. So Pisces, it does look like, um, <laughs> I wasn't, let me, where is the, where is that other deck? Because I just want to take out one. So... You are going to unite with somebody. This does look like the healing of a heart to a relationship that you had a lot of confusion with or a lot of confusion, right? You're about to be put in some sort of different position, though, um, where you're controlling the conflict. You're controlling. So that's why I'm saying like you could be the CEO of something or somebody could be offering you a manager's position because they look at you as being able to turn lemons into lemonades or you know how to diffuse situations or you can keep a calm head in a storm you know how to fight against battles well or something you're equipped to do something and or you've done something well something you've invested into or just it, it's like you have a collect people desiring to collaborate with you or invest into you due to something you did alone though Again, this could be a supervisor position they're offering you where because they feel like maybe they feel like they're. Um... So 
so Pisces, I don't know who you are or what kind of power you have or what, what you have shown people, but somebody may be looking at you as the best person to resolve conflict in their company. You may be getting an offer with human resources or an offer with like a manager's position or something. Somebody, it looks like somebody who want to collaborate with you feel like you're a good offer because you're good at resolving conflict or overcoming conflict or bouncing back from conflict, like your tenacity, your resilience, your struck. So you could be required to structure out, like get something under control. Or you could be feeling like you need to get something under control so you could prepare for a new position. So you may be going through training of some sorts, like on the job training, because people feel like you you're you have some sort of like good, you have a good eye for investment or psychic abilities is helping you make the right choices or find your life purpose or something. Somebody could be traveling to you or telling you to travel to them. But it looks like somebody looks at you as the type of person like you know how to deal with conflict in a really good way. You know how to overcome it. You know how to remove your emotions. You're not even you're not afraid to fire people or terminate their employment. You don't worry about that kind of stuff. You just do the job and move forward. This is why they're looking at you as the empress and this world card is right on it because they look at your level of confidence. Like some people could have passed this off as you being that type of person who wasn't willing to fight for what you believe. They didn't understand something about you, Pisces, it before. That's what I'm saying. Like somebody didn't understand how you stand up for yourself or how you fight or something, something. Something like that. Like somebody didn't understand you in the past. They understand you now and they like what they see. Um, mm, I like this reading. I do. Worry. I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness and surrender. I can release my need to control. So Pisces, I love this because you know what I see with just these three cards that come out. I'm going to pull three more from another deck, another Oracle deck, and then the reading will be over. I um, hope you all are enjoying this longer reading too because I'm try. i trying to do them a little shorter at times. Um, but I hope you all are enjoying this Um this longer reading, but it does look like something that you were worried about. It says, I'm learning that worry doesn't change an change outcome. So you're learning to let worrying go so much, like not having to sit back and be like, oh, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? You're trusting yourself to go after something passionately and sort of let the chips fall where they may. If it works out, wonderful. If it doesn't, you take the lesson that you need from it and then you move on, right? This has put you in a place of growth growth like i want to expand my consciousness my consciousness and my awareness so you want it's like pisces because this is why this psychic abilities card came out too cuz it's like you're even using your third eye to help you grow so you can see things from a different perspective or see them very clear in a divination state so you can really just be in a place where you're growing consciously and you're aware of the mistakes you have made in the past, you've learned from them, and you've worked diligently to change something. This some investment you've made into yourself, into your son, into the son could just speaks of prosperity and success. Something really paid off. People have a problem with the word surrender because they look at it as a sign of weakness. But I get that once Pisces, you surrender to some sort of past bad decisions it gave you a it gave you the power you need to make the necessary change you wanted to see it says i can i can release my need to control so something you kept trying to control you learned that you could not control it so all you needed to do was sort of let things happen 
in the way that they should happen. You have acceptance on the bottom. It says, I'm learning to accept the things I cannot change. That's part of the serenity prayer. So you could be doing the serenity prayer or... Um, that's part, yeah, because that's part of the serenity prayer. You understand what you can't change in your life. Um, you're accepting that. You've surrendered to that. So you're only working on what you can change. Pisces, see how my message is becoming at the end? This is why people who don't watch my videos to the end don't get this. For Pisces, do you know what this whole reading looks like to me? Pisces, it does look like you're in some sort of energy. You are trusting what you don't see, trusting beyond high priestess energy, high complete high priestess energy. You're trusting what you don't see because you know it's helping you grow. So you know you don't have to worry so much anymore because the process was meant to be will be. But you have not, you are controlling the fact that you can work hard towards something. You can grow, you can improve. Your need to control came from a place of being controlled. Your voice, of, your voice could have been silenced. So you could have even in the past, Pisces, this is what I'm saying, like in the past, you could have even abused your control over something or someone. Pisces, was some something taken from you? Was something taken from you? Now, listen to what I'm about to say. This could be in the, in your other realms, like did you abuse your control as an Aries? Did you abuse your control as a Virgo? Did you abuse your control as a, like when you were other Zodiac signs? Did you abuse your control in another life? Like your ancestral being sort of took something from you, but they did it to teach you a lesson because they knew the outcome would be success for you. Listen to what I'm about to say. I know this this may be confusing, so it may go over some people's head, but it's like something was taken from you. So even if, okay, even if this is not when you were another Zodiac sign, this could have been 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, something was removed from you. Do you know how a blind person, their other senses are on a hundred because their eyesight is not there so it's like they can tap it to they their touch intensifies the touch when they touch something that that sense is intense because it's almost supplementing for their eyesight their um hearing is more um, things that they, it's more pronounced when they hear, like they hear things on a different level, on a different scale, on a different vibration because their eyesight has been removed. This is what I'm saying with you. Something, your angels didn't remove something from you to hurt you. They actually removed something from you to help other things that needed to increase in your life, other senses, your psychic abilities, Pisces needed to increase you needed to trust yourself more being that more in that high priestess energy this is your life purpose what you're doing is your life purpose um i guess you're going to get some confirmation this is going to be from the universe this could be from two people of pi i mean a it could be from a pisces because i didn't mean to say pisces but it could be also from a fire sign or an air sign that's something that was removed so I'll use this as an example. Just say if you were in another life, just say, you know, you had a lot of money. You were a king, a queen. You were you were ruling things. Maybe you ruled with an iron fist and you sort of abused your power over people. It looks like in this life, power was taken from you, like money was taken from you, but you found a way to do other things to get that money it made you appreciate 
the struggle more or not having something more that you used to have. Now, if it didn't, ha if all of this happened in this lifetime, Pisces, you could have been doing very well at one time financially and took a serious fall where it took you a long time to recuperate or heal or get back on your feet. But it made you appreciate what you had before. So now when you got it, some investment is something that you chose not to give, on, give up on. You could have been investing into learning these lessons or investing into yourself. Really looks like Pisces, that has paid off tremendously. Your, your angels, God, your ancestors, whoever you pray to, sort of remove something from you to help you increase other areas of your life. And this has worked out beautifully for you. Whether it's like the dice were rolled and because you have free will, you made, you won. It's like the dice were rolled to see how you would accomplish something. Your angels already knew you would. You would. This was a lesson. You went to school from a spiritual, a spiritual being sent you to school and you learned your lesson. This has helped bring growth. It's helped you accept surrendering what you cannot control. It also helped people see you in a new light that you were able to heal yourself emotionally by yourself. Um, like, or alone would seem to be alone, but I guess you were getting help from the spiritual realm. Patience, honesty, and change, yeah. So be honest with yourself about the change that, be patient with yourself too about the change that needs to be made, Pisces. That is the end of the reading. Wow. Okay. This is why people should watch my readings to the end. Because <laughs> it's always a message. I, I always ask for something to come out. And sometimes it comes out in the end. Sometimes it comes out in the beginning of a reading. But um, yeah, so it does look like something was removed from you, Pisces, to help increase your other abilities um, and teach you what your life lesson is. Now, this could have been removed from you in a different life. So when you came into this life, those other abilities could strengthen. Um, those other skills could strengthen. But they knew you wouldn't be as strong in this life if they didn't remove something else. So you had to strengthen. It was like they they made you work on all the parts of you. Like, use me as an example. Like, shit, I need to work on my midsection, right? So it's like something needed to be increased, improved, you know, something made stronger. So they had to remove something else from your life that was keeping you weak. Um, and that's why it improved in this life. So again, if it all happened in this lifetime and you went through a lot of karmic cycles where you were making bad decisions in the past, does look like you've learned from that. You went through some sort of spiritual life lesson. Um, this is improving your life because something was removed from you that could have been finances, that could have been power, could have been something. But it was your angel's way of showing you that you had other abilities that you weren't tapping into and using to their full potential. Um, you weren't using your abilities to the full potential. And this is why something was removed from you. Um, this could have been people too, people, places, things, whatever. Something was removed from you, Pisces, just because you needed to increase um, or improve in other areas. And I get that that worked out in an amazing way for you because something that you've invested into is giving you good returns or or get somebody singing your accolades because the lessons that were learned were like seriously from the spiritual realm and you could be even looked at somebody could be looking at you like a walking miracle or something seriously um how you've overcome something or you did it in silence with that hermit card you did it alone um and then you made some sort of investment that paid off so it's like you healed in on, in a way that some people could be looking at it as an a miracle or you did something by yourself and it just it's just looking it makes you look so good um, it makes you look so strong. It makes you look so committed, but I do get that your responsibility is going to increase because you do have people now you have lot, you have people in high positions, attention or something. So they could be putting you in a place of 
adding on your responsibility. They may want you to manage someone or um, be in human resources or be as uh, the CEO of something because they feel like your abilities are just, it's like you're a good investment for them or something for their company or something. So it does look like you are getting some sort of feedback about you, the way you do something is just like, it really good and somebody want to pay for that they want to pay for your services in some way um and it's going to help you it, it this is so much like i this reading is sort of like it's all over the place but i totally get it so i guess some people are going to get it and some people aren't so yeah all right okay pisces i love you guys thank you so much for hitting that like share and subscribe button and showing my channel so much love i appreciate you from the bottom of my heart go ahead and um, give yourself a pat on the back for being so committed to my channel too. Cause like you all are helping my channel grow. I'm like, wow. Okay. I'm already at, you know, 15,000, 16,000. Like I'm sized. I'm happy. Like, I'm like, okay, they do love me. <laughs> all right, Pisces. I'm just joking with y'all. I love y'all though. I swear I'm sending this nothing but positive energy your way. And I will talk with you soon.